Oh my god! Look at that one. Mm. Oh, and just look at it from the back. Yeah, it's really nice. Hold on. I think I need to make a toast. Oh, sorry, just a bit thirsty. No, it's great. It, yeah, it really is. I just want to say thank you so much for being the best maid of honour ever. Oh, don't be silly. No, really, though, you were fantastic. Oh, well, it's my pleasure. You look beautiful. And John is a lucky bloke. Do you really think so? Of course. You look like a... like a princess. I don't know about that. <laughs> I mean... I did feel quite princessy. Honestly, full on Disney. Thank you. So you really thought I looked good then? I really did. Do you want to look at the pictures of you in it again, or? Oh. No? No. Okay. <laughs> no, it's fine. It... Well, maybe just one more look. Okay. Oh. It's nice though, isn't it? Mm hmm yeah, it's really nice. I yeah. do really think this is the one, don't you? Uh -huh. Yeah, definitely the one. Anyway, sorry. This whole day has been all about me. How are things with you? Oh, um, really good, thanks. And how are things with Phil? Um, it's great, actually. We have finally kind of unpacked in the new place, so that's huh? nice. It'll be you next, then. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, don't be silly. I'm sure of it. In fact, I am determined to make it happen for you. Well, you don't need to do anything, so... I don't mind giving things a little nudge. What, like that email telling your guests to let me catch the bouquet? And us girls have got to stick together. Well, you see seed fill into it, so... Well, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> well, you put make it happen fill in bold. It's just a little joke we have. <laughs> well, like I keep saying, there's no need, really. Hmm. You know... <clears throat> It'll be hard now you've done this a few times. You'll have to pick who'll be your maid of honour. Oh, I haven't really thought about it. I mean, because obviously Emma's known you the longest. Yeah, since primary school. But she doesn't see you as often as I do, does she? Well, we've sort of just been able to pick up where we left off, really. In a detached sort of way. No, I wouldn't say that. But we've seen each other through some tough times, haven't we? We have. Mm, pretty close now, aren't we? Yep. Sure. Who are you going to pick then? I'm, I'm not getting married, so... No, not yet, but you must have some idea. Not really. OK. Even if you had to pick now, hypothetically, you must know who you'd want. I really couldn't say. Go on, though. I'm not sure. Oh, you must have decided. Mm, no, no, I haven't. Oh, I <laughs> believe you. It's just never crossed my mind. Just pick one of us. Oh, oh, just do it. Oh, for fuck's sake, neither of you. I wouldn't have either of you. I would rather have strangers watch me get married than sit through one more conversation about centrepieces and colour schemes and whether or not you look like a fucking princess. Because do you know what? You don't. You look like a grown woman with two kids by two different assholes who's just so grateful that someone's finally decided to marry her because that's what you are. I have fond memories of when I was young, you always had the remedy to the questions I had unanswered and I would go to sleep, knowing that you were there for me. When I was young, you always knew what you had to say when I got stung. I'll be in the birds that will sit in the trees and sing away. I know I'll see you again someday. This is where I learn to breathe.